So we have some pretty exciting news regarding the software that I use for upscaling the video when I'm remastering. Uh, the previous AI models that the Topaz Video AI software used never did a whole lot. Um, they helped me get rid of some of the pixelization, a little noise, but still, you know, is what it is. When you're working with low resolution video like that, it's not going to make it look great. Until now, the uh, new model that just came out recently, Starlight, has blown me away. I did not think it was possible to make these videos look this good. I didn't think that I could take a video that was a horrible pixelated mess and make it look truly high definition. But we're basically there. Um, I cannot put into words how good this is and have you believe me, so we're going to have to look at some examples. First, let's take a look at this video of Donald Fagan at the microphone. And here's the after. And you can just see right away. It's not perfectly high def, and going back to the before here, but um, when it goes back to the after now, you can see it's just almost truly high def. And look at this of Freddie Washington's fingers on the bass guitar there, how detailed they are. And here's an example that really shows what it can do. The far away view of the band like this, and you can see how lacking info it is. And then here in this after version, it's managed to recreate the faces and have them look natural. It doesn't give weird monster faces. It actually is able to look uh, at the upcoming frames and predict what's going to happen next. So going to the shot of the, uh, the drums, you can see the after, how much just everything sharpens up. These close-up shots, you can see the detail in the face, and we go to the before view here, and you lose everything, becomes pixelated, back to the after, and it's just, it looks natural. Um, here's one that's really impressive, looking at Carolyn Linhart. You can see the detail in her hair, her dress, all of that really pops, and she actually has, like, skin texture. Here's Walter's guitar, which is something that the upscaling always struggles with. Actually, you can see the guitar strings, you can see the individual frets. Everything just looks so natural. So the big thing that I'm getting from this is that it is unbelievable, but it's come at a big cost. Um, the processing time for these videos is unbelievably slow. A nine minute long clip took 25 hours for me to render. And that is just to get it to a 1080p resolution. Um, there is no way that I could actually go with this model straight to 4K. Um, I will be taking the, the videos up to 1080p and then running a separate filter on them just to get them up to the, the 4K to get a little bit more of the smoothing on removing any pixels um, that are visible. But uh, it's, it's just not that reasonable to uh, make it work any better because uh, it's still going to take weeks for me to render one video. But I think that you can see from the examples that it's going to be worth it. The amazing improvement in video quality is something I'm just super excited about. And I'm really looking forward to going through and taking these videos and sharing them with you guys as we can get them updated. Uh, it's just going to take a while. So I uh, hope you guys are excited too and uh, look forward to getting this one finally done for you whenever it finishes all of its rendering. Have a good one.